For many, Greta Thunberg is a beacon of hope for the climate. Safe journey! Bye! The Swedish teenager is going to America, but she has to get there first without flying. Air travel is too carbon dirty for her. I am not telling anyone what to do or what not to do. I am one of the very, very few people in the world who actually can do this, and then I think I should take that chance to do this. Her chance is to cross the Atlantic on a high-tech racing yacht, the Militia 2, powered by wind and solar and underwater turbines for electricity. It's not comfortable, the toilet's a bucket, her bed a fold-down bunk for two weeks at least on the open sea, a challenge. Maybe, I don't know, seasickness? Thunberg started as a solitary protester outside Parliament in Stockholm, worried about what she calls a climate emergency. She rocketed out of Sweden, attracting millions of followers, now in the running for a Nobel Peace Prize. I just want her to know that there's so much love for her in the world and so many people support what she's doing because there's a lot of trolls and there's a lot of negativity about what this young woman has achieved. Just a year ago, no one had heard of Greta Thunberg, but with her fearless and frank way of speaking, she has struck a nerve, particularly with young people who believe they're inheriting a polluted planet. But her age and her meteoric rise as a climate activist has made her a target. Ignorant, maniacal, mercilessly manipulated, an American lobbyist. So young, so many mental disorders, but treated as a guru, an Australian columnist. She bats off her critics. There are always going to be people who don't understand or don't accept the United Science. And, um, I mean, I will just ignore them. Her mission, she says, is simple. To make people care, and if that spreads, there will be more action. An idealist, maybe, but one with a powerful global platform. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Plymouth, England.